<sighs> oh, drat. Another rainy day. This just is not going to do a thing for Silver's fur. Uh, but hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails Silver's Adventures with the Heart of Roses. And we are back where she can admire her appearance in the uh, the rainy, rainy waterfall pool that we have. I think that would actually frustrate her. Just imagine every time you catch a glimpse of how lovely this brand new bell looks against her silvery fur, the rain splashes and ruins the image. Uh, honestly. Well, alright, let's go ahead and greet everybody to start the day. Luna, how are you doing? Luna, you're very shy, darling. I'm sure a good mouse to share together. Yes, talking. We could share our time talking, Luna. And maybe maybe things would be a little bit easier if I gave you if I gave you some sort of delicious, delicious treat. Uh, or some golden seal. You're a healer, right? Healers like golden seal. That's oh yeah, look at that. She likes it. Cool, wonderful. Well, we'll work on her. And look at this. Here comes Leo. Uh, no, we don't want to discuss the border. <laughs> I hope you're adjusting all right around here. I know some of us can be hard to approach, but deep down, we're all good cats. <gasps> Leo! That's exactly what Silver believes, actually. Oh my gosh. Just find a few good friends and stick with them. You'll be a lot happier that way. <gasps> Could he? Could he have just seen into Silver's heart? That is exactly what Silver believes. That finding a few friends, that every single cat has something inside of them that totally, totally just makes them wonderful. That's, oh, how fantastic. Okay, that was just too exciting. We need to take Silver out and we're actually going to try to do some more hunting uh, because I know Leo really, really loves, uh, I know Leo really, really loves black rabbits. So let's get started. But hello everyone and welcome back. Oh, there's some food. There's some food. Come on, Silver. Oh, got it. Oh, we can really hunt a lot further away from the prey than I, I usually realize. Oh, look, and Leo's at the reflection pool. If only it wasn't raining and just ruining Silver's fur today, then this would be a perfect moment for some sort of romantic event. But uh, it's not like Silver's going out of her way to look for romance just yet, you see. Right now, that just really resonates her because as you guys know, Silver is a very... Mm, Adventurous really isn't the word, but she is a very thoughtful cat who believes that really every cat has something within them. Yes, good job. She is such a better hunter than her sister. <laughs> But she believes that every cat has something within them that makes them worthwhile. And that's why you shouldn't attack and beat up your friends and, and all these fights between colonies and clans and whatever you want to call your group of cats is, is just ridiculous to her. Because it just it underscores being aggressive where really if you just slow down and share a good mouse together, you might make a new friend. And Silver really appreciates that. Or you might corner a mouse into a literal corner. This is kind of hilarious. <laughs> and the poor terrified thing expires uh, at your claws rather than like jumps off the cliff. Well, that was a little bit morbid, but you know what? Silver's a predator. It happens. Uh, all right, but yes, yeah, so welcome back. I apologize that Silver's story is so sporadic right now. I am trying to work on making it a little bit more frequent. So hopefully we will be adventuring with her for quite a while. And then once we've played with her through the winter until, oh, there's that bunny. Gotcha. All right, geez, she's like a good cliff hunter. I did not expect that about her. She really use, utilizes the cliffs well in order to kind of corner prey and get them to go where she needs them to. But yes, so my plan with Silver, my friends, is actually to go ahead and work with her until... Oh, Leo's still there. Okay, Leo, how do you do? Not the borders, my friend, not the borders, but you're right. Every cat has within them something that we can all admire. And here, I'm just going to drop this this rabbit off in front of you and run for it before you notice how wet and matted my hair, my, like her fur is getting. So let's do this. All right. You really know what I like. Thanks so much, Silver. <gasps> Yay! Okay, no, still not here for borders. And yes, so carry on before you notice how like messy my fur is. Uh, there we go. All right. So yes, I, I hope to actually play with Silver and get her all the way up to about a year of adventuring. She is, again, a better hunter than her sister ever was. <laughs> so that we can have her meet up with where her sister Creek is in time. And once we do that, I'm not exactly sure where things will go. We will have to see what kind of uh, situations we find ourselves in. Truly, truly, on top of my lavender fields, 
do you uh, look at this aggression wiggles river fred Ugh. i just fred how are you doing fred you haven't seen any beehives around have you i don't like bees Ugh. Uh, that's all Silver has to say to that. She just, the fighting is such a waste of time. Every cat has within them something that can really be admired and fighting each other so aggressively, possibly ending each other's lives. It just, it just underscores like not respecting that. And that's just not something she's into. Silver saw far too much pain, as you guys know, as we're going to go ahead and eat this delicious fish. Let's go ahead and eat it. Yeah, look at all that food. And then let's go ahead and, and try to spruce our fur up with this lavender and thus inadvertently increase the uh inadvertently increase the territory control that mountain domain has on this area but yeah she just really doesn't like fighting she saw how much suffering it caused to her col uh, her clan when she grew up in apple clan and just doesn't have time for cats who are into that kind of thing she would rather just move on but we'll have to see if silver changes her tune if she really learns to love the mountains uh, but you guys know that by now. So, all right. Mostly, we're just kind of exploring, adventuring. Honestly, if there was a way to get out of the rain, then I think Silver would really appreciate that. But I don't think she has found her way into one of the mines yet. Got it. Yeah, I don't think she's found her way inside of one of the mines yet. So, if we happen to wander into... Because I haven't got everywhere memorized. Because neither has Silver. <laughs> But if we happen to wander into a good spot for the mines, uh, then I definitely will have her go ahead and do a little bit of mining on rainy days because I don't think she likes the rain. It just ruins the fur. Fred, you're still you're still lollygagging around here, are you? <sighs> All right, so let's see. Well, we need to move up. Okay, I did peek at the map because I'm totally lost. <laughs> we need to move up a little bit. And I'm also curious, we're at 54 experience. And I actually would really love to get Silver the Return Home Warp because I feel like it helps a lot uh, with just being able to get more done. So you're not running back and forward and missing the times when the cats get to go to sleep on time and not miss like the whole afternoon. So let's see if we can do a little bit more hunting on our way back home. Hmm? A bit of experience definitely helps. Oh, hello there. Well, we found some golden seal. As if we are going to try this river again. Been there, done that, almost drowned, ruined the fur. I mean, I suppose we're already soaking wet, so what does it matter? But still. All right, well, let's get out of here. I want to find our way home. And we're going to be late again. Oh, there's a frog. And Silver doesn't really like frogs the way her sister Creek really does. But, ah! Again with this nonsense, honestly. Oh, dear. Anak! Anak! If only none of you participated in that, in that dis disreputulous behavior. All right, we're lost. All right, let's do this. I guess we're already soaking wet, but I don't know about this. Ugh. Ugh, disgusting. All right, well, oh, 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 and there was a frog. Could I have eaten that frog? I think that he has hopped himself away. I suppose it makes, oh, 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 there he is. There he is. It makes sense for frogs to be out on rainy days like this. Ha <laughs> ha. And now maybe we can give the frog legs away to somebody. Oh, look, Jag isn't even guarding the spot as usual. But all right. What a what a day. What a day. And let's just go ahead and wander in. Some days will be like this. Some days will be absolutely elegant and wonderful and somewhat full of surprises. When we ended up having the very interesting surprise. Um decorate she does nothing in here is really that shiny so i don't think silver would really care to decorate with it but maybe nibble a filled mouse for like a late dinner and then let's go ahead and sleep there we go but uh i do think that some days are just going to be like that rainy wandering about no idea quite what's going down there we go all right a little bit more experience from going to sleep yeah i think that that'll be my goal is just to help silver again with the rainy days if you ask me, it's, it's, oh, this is just, oh, how could anyone, Luna, darling, I do happen to have more golden seal for you, but I, how about a field mouse, my dear? Maybe that will bring you out of your shell. Hmm? There we go. Ah, oh, dear. All right. Doesn't seem like that works. That's fine. Every cat has their own thing that they enjoy. All right. Well, let's wiggle over and see. Oh, Robin, darling, you know what would look beautiful in your fur? Yes, giving gifts, Robin. Hmm. 
I feel like Robin perhaps, uh, perhaps actually enjoys having things that like being given gifts because she's always hinting at it. I could see Silver kind of getting along with somebody like that because it's all about having a passion about things, right? Silver has a passion about her fur and staying out of the rain. And Robin apparently has a passion about being given gifts. So let's go ahead and try out with this little mouse. There you go. Oh dear. Ugh, frustrating. Arthur, how, is, how are you doing today? All right, rain comes to refresh the realm. All growing things need it for their sustenance. Ugh, I feel like Arthur is exactly the kind of character where you think they would get along 100%, but actually like his view on fighting so much and her view on not fighting too much and his view on the rain actually being a good thing and her view on the rain messing up her fur, it could make for, it could make for some headbutts. But let's go ahead here, Arthur. Why don't, here, how about a frog? Do you want a frog? My friend, what do you think about this? A noble thing to give up your worldly possessions. Yes, I see. You've been hanging out with Robin, haven't you? Leo! Our domain faces many challenges lately, Silver. As you stand in, in the, the shallow water, glancing over your shoulder with the rain falling about you, Leo, I can see how they made you the leader of this domain. My mother was the leader of Mountain Domain before me, and if I ever have a child, they will likely become leader after me. Oh dear! This is actually far more romantic than I thought it would be. Oh my. I think that would actually fluster her. We do have another black hair, but I don't know. I kind of feel like Silver would be a little flustered for a second. So, like, talking about children? What? Silver, I mean, there's there, that's something... That's something that's actually, as we sort through all of the things we're caring about to give to Delta, but that's something that Silver, I don't think, has ever thought about, is having kits of her own. I mean, she just always figures, what's the point of staying in one place since cats end up fighting over the territory and getting so possessive? And she's not really ever had the sense of being super possessive about something just yet. She hasn't seen the point. But I don't know if, you know, Leo is kind of popping up and suddenly talking about kits. I think that would give Silver an opportunity to think about that for the very first time. And that could be pretty humbling. Hmm. We'll have to see where those thoughts take her. All right, we have a squirrel, a dove, and a black hair. Uh, how much for the dove? Five? Five mews? I wonder if, like, you exchange the mews by chanting them. Like, mew, 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 mew. <laughs> like, five mews. That's how many mews I've earned. It's just, how do, how do cats count mews? <laughs> like, do you put the squirrel in front of him and you're like, okay, how much is this worth? And he's like, four mews. Except it would be like, mew, 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 mew. Huh, who knows? All right, let's just go ahead and we'll have the squirrel for breakfast, but sell everything else. There we go, my friend. And eventually, let's see, how many mews do we have now? Uh, let's see, do we have enough? We have 56 mews, so we, oh, and we can buy black hairs. That's gonna come in nifty if we need to give gifts to a certain Leo. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can buy lavender. Well, that's almost even more important. Silver does love smelling wonderful, but the inventory expansion would be really great. And I really want to get that silver tabby color because that's kind of what silver's supposed to be. Eh, I'm really kind of falling for the silver silver look. Oh, hello, Pebble. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Rain always puts me in a bad mood. I don't like damp fur. <gasps> Pebble! See, you get to know a cat a little better, and suddenly you have a bosom buddy. Wonderful. All right. Well, it seems like we actually do have a few friends, and, you know, I think Silver may recall the fact that there was a really interesting cave. Oh, oh, oh. Squirrel. And lunch. No, come back. You're going to be lunch. <laughs> That was so close. That was so close. I feel like we really gave him a run for the money, but he's headed for the trees now. Ah, well. All right. Or should I have said a run for the muse? Who knows? But all right, let's wiggle down this way. I do believe... So we know Pebble doesn't like wet fur now. We know Leo actually has like an inadvertently romantic streak. And I mean, that is something to think about. What about kits? Does she ever want kits? I mean, you can't exactly just have kits and run, you know what I mean? Just travel through the forest and bring your kits with you. And look at that. Oh, I was going to praise her on using cliff sides again, but we missed it. So, oh, and these weird tomb things. No, thank you. So that is something I don't think she's ever thought about is what about having kits? <gasps> A rare cardinal. Oh my golly gracious. Okay. Yeah! Bunny, you tempted me. I tried to be greedy. I went for both. Ah, that cardinal. That was so shiny. Those feathers would have looked fantastic in her fur. 
Ah, well. Ah, and here we go. Somewhere. Finally. To get out of the rain. But alright guys, I'm going to let Silver kind of lick all of the nasty rain off of her fur, freshen up, and then next time we will dive deeper into these mines to see if we can find anything particularly shiny and lovely to add into her den, or at least to sell or to give away. Perhaps, I mean look, here's a rock. Maybe we're finding something that Pebble will be able to enjoy as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye